Our final verse on giving, it comes from the sixth chapter of the Gospel of Luke. And it's Luke 6, 38. And it's important to look at the context. If you look back to verse 37, what sets it up is Jesus telling us not to judge. Because do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. So you hear this dynamic related to judging others, condemning others, and forgiving others. And then we have our verse of the day. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. I think Luke 6.38 is a really important verse to understand about giving in the larger context, not just in terms of giving materially of our money, our wealth, or our possessions, but giving in general. Uh, if we give people grace, if we're not judgmental and harsh, people will tend to be more gracious towards us. If we don't rush to condemn others, for who they are, or what they think, or what they believe, people, more often than not, will be more likely not to be immediately condemning of us. If we give generously of forgiveness, if we're not miserly in, or reluctant in being willing to forgive others, people, more likely, will be more ready to forgive us when we have wronged them. So whether it's judging others, condemning others, forgiving others, we want to give generously. We want to be generous in our relationships and our relating with other people. And then we get in verse 38 of chapter 6, this giving principle. Give, and it will be given to you. And basically what Luke is saying, what Jesus is saying in Luke, is that we can't outgive God. And so when we give generously to others, whether materially or forgiveness of grace, that we will receive even more than we give. And this is a verse that has helped shape my approach to giving for a long, long time because I always look at Luke 6.38 and say, I can't outgive God. No matter how generous I may try to be, no matter how much we may try to give of what we have materially, no matter how gracious or forgiving I try to be with others, I can never be more gracious towards others than God is towards me. I can never be more forgiving towards others than God is toward me. I can never outgive God. Neither can you. But as we conclude this week on giving, one of the fundamental things to remember is we worship a generous God and a God who encourages and teaches and exhorts and commands us to live generously and graciously ourselves. And when we do, God's grace will be showered upon us more generously than we can imagine.